next question from March 2022 examination. They have an expression for radius of nth orbit of the electron in hydrogen atom. So this is two mark question. We have to derive expression for radius of nth orbit. So we consider hydrogen atom. So we consider hydrogen atom. An electron is revolving around the nucleus. So hydrogen atom having a single electron and single proton. So by Bohr's first postulate, by Bohr's first postulate. So what is the by Bohr's first postulate? Bohr's pos first postulate is related to centripetal force. Centripetal force in a revol for electron revolving electron is provided by electrostatic force of attraction between a positively charged nucleus and negatively charged electron. So here, so this is sent, uh, electrostatic force. Now, this is the Bohr's first postulate. By using this first postulate, I can cancel here this R and one R from this R square gate cancel. And this uh, M we can shift to that side. So we can write a formula of V square. So here I can write here MV square is equal to this or V square directly I'm writing. So E square divided by four pi epsilon zero M R. And this is equation number one, this is V square. Now we are writing the equation by Bohr's second postulate, by Bohr's second postulate. Bohr's second postulate is electron revolve without radiating energy when angular momentum of the electron, MRV, is equal to integral multiple of h upon 2 pi. So this is the second postulate. Now by using that second postulate, we can write V is equal to nh divided by 2 pi and this m and r we can shift to that side. So by using that, we can write V square. So V square is equal to this n square h square divided by 4 pi square m square r square now equation number 2 so equation 1 and 2 both the gives us v square so here equating equation 1 and 2 so if we equate equation 1 and 2 then we get here e square divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 m r is equal to n square h square divided by 4 pi square m square r square. Now we have to cancel the common term. Now what is the common here? 4 is common here pi and 1 pi from this side m, 1 m from m square r, 1 r from r square get cancelled. Now here we get a term e square this side and epsilon 0 is remaining. Then n square h square divided by uh, pi m r. So listen, this is a hydrogen atom. We are writing everything for hydrogen atom. So z is 1 for hydrogen atom. So here you remember z is 1 for hydrogen atom. So postulate when we are written the postulate, we write by considering z is 1. So R is equal to, R is equal to, so I can transfer the R to this side, epsilon to this side and e epsilon 0 n square h square divided by pi m e square. And this is the expression for radius of, expression for radius of nth orbit in hydrogen atom. So this we are written for hydrogen atom. So by using that, you remember, you can write here, R is proportional to epsilon zero is constant, H is a constant, pi, M, E square, everything is constant. So you can write R is proportional to N square. So radius of Bohr's orbit is directly proportional to square of this N is called as principal quantum number, square of the principal quantum number. So question may be asked like that way also show that radius of Bohr's orbit directly proportional to square of principal quantum number. Then you can write up to this. 
So I hope everyone understood this.